Welcome to the Leather Journey. Uh, today we're going to continue our What Is series, and sometimes we call it What Are, but what is a hanky code, or what are hanky codes? Um, the, the research I've done, I mean, I've seen hankies used throughout the 24 years I've been in leather, but uh, the research I've done indicates that hankies is a form of flag or indicator for what you're into or what your sexual preferences are in play kind of originated around the 1980s uh, there were a couple of hanky codes that were uh, that are easy to find on on the internet by googling uh, the one i'm going to refer to today was bob Drummond's hanky code uh, Dramon evidently traveled around the country and frequented uh, gay bars and gay clubs, and he recorded over a period of time and published uh, a hanky code uh, in his address book. Uh, and it, it pretty much stuck with what I would call the primary colors. It wasn't very long. Uh, let me see, one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Looks like he has 12 different hankies that he identifies in his table. Uh, and so dominants wore their hanky on the left side, submissives wore their hanky on the right. So you go, well, what if you're a switch or what if you like the top and bottom? Well, you might see hankies worn in each pocket, uh, the left side being the ones that, uh, the interests that you're willing to top for, the right side being the interests that you're willing to bottom for. So I'll just run over these 12 real quick. You'll find in modern times, and I'm not going to go over it in this video, but in modern times, if you find more modern hanky codes, they're much more extensive and they almost cover all the colors of the rainbow. And I don't necessarily like that because a lot of people uh, have difficulty distinguishing between shades of colors, especially in a dim lit space or in a, you know, in a dim lit bar. Uh, the difference between pink and magenta or magenta and purple, you know, it, it, it can be tricky. But it's a conversation piece. It's a starting point. It's a way to start strike up a conversation with someone. Uh, but Damon's Demo, hanky codes were uh, dark blue was Greek, uh, red was fist fucking, uh, mustard was has eight plus inches, light blue was oral or sixty nine, uh, orange was pretty much anything. Yellow, kind of makes sense, golden showers. Uh, drab olive, again, likes uniform play. Uh, green, or it's kind of like green light. You're either a hustler or a buyer, you, uh, you want to play. Brown was scat. Uh, gray was, you were into master MS or master slave relationships. White is just observing, or uh, in some instances is called jacking off. Uh, I'm an exhibitionist at heart, so I have a fondness in my heart for voyeurs. There is a place in the scene for voyeurs. Most clubs actually frown upon wankers and people jacking off. Uh, but observing is certainly uh, welcome and encouraged. And black uh, was someone that was a whipper or a bit of into BDSM play. So that was Damone's hanky codes. Uh, there's slight difference in, uh, in lesbian hanky codes, uh, but they're pretty much the same. The only major difference I found was in mustard. Mustard over on the gay male side uh, indicated eight inches or plus and mustard on the, the female or lesbian side of the community uh, indicated a foot fetish. Uh, but you'll find much more extensive hanky codes than that. Uh, it was a way to quickly identify uh, people that had common interests 
and uh, and approach them and strike up a conversation and uh, it might end up leading to uh, to a scene or to a play session. Uh, I don't see hanky codes used that much in the clubs I go to on the East Coast anymore. Uh, it seems like the East Coast clubs, at least the pansexual clubs, have migrated more toward what I'm going to call a wristband system. And I'll talk about wristbands in a future video. But hankies are fun. Uh, there's nothing wrong with flagging your interest and uh, uh, and, and it's a pretty discreet way. No one thinks too much about seeing a hanky in someone's back pocket. Uh, I've seen hankies worn in the front pocket as well. Um, but the, the main distinction is right and left side. Left side dominant, right side uh, submissive or bottom. So as always, uh, thanks for watching The Leather Journey. Uh, research hanky codes on your own. And, uh, and be sure and, and add comments in the comment section below. Give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. And uh, we'll, we'll continue this discussion, but we'll migrate over to the wristband system that seems to be uh, popular in the clubs that I frequent. As always, thanks for watching The Leather Journey.